Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys, come fishing again. Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys, come fishing again. Yeah, it's that time again to drop a line. So sit back and relax and let's go fishing again. Come along as we join John Shaw and today's special guest. Reel them in on fishing with the good old boys. Good fishing. Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys. Come fishing again. Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys. Come fishing again. It's good old boys. Come fishing again. Good morning, folks. It's Lee's Ferry, Trout Fisherman's Paradise, and we have with us super guy Terry Gunn with us today. Terry, what are we going to do today here? John, today I'm going to introduce you to fly fishing, and hopefully we'll catch a couple of fish. Uh, we're going to be talking about wading safety in areas like this, and also uh, a little bit about the fishery. Dynamite, so you stay put, folks. we got a good one coming from Lee's Ferry, trouting today. This is one of the riffles up here. That's where we find a lot of our fish. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing some good fishing right here. Fish that we'll catch here are all bright feeding fish. The uh -huh. spawn's pretty much over with. So Looks we're like going to be using a scud, which is their natural feed. Uh -huh. And this is a larger one, which I usually use this time of year. That's a well-used fly. They seem to work yeah. better sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's a veteran. That's a veteran, eh? Uh huh. Got experience, that fly, huh? Now where we're going to be fishing is right out in the current there. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to be casting these flies out there and trying to get as natural of a drift as we possibly can. And hopefully the fish will think they're natural. That's it. That's what they got to do. Well, let me show you how we start here. All righty. Might want to stand over here on my left. OK. If you're standing next to a right-hand fly fisherman, you always trouble. stand on his left. and. Uh, Sooner or later, you're going to stand next to a left-hand fly fisherman and get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? You're stripping out a little line. I'm stripping line. out a little line. Uh, I want to be casting out there approximately, probably up to about 50 feet. So I start with all my line. It's much easier to get all your line off of your reel to make your cast. Even a little more line. I'd mm -hmm. actually like to be out there just a little bit farther. Well, let me land this fish first. All right, let's land this fish here. Here we go. <laughs> Long distance release. He got off. <laughs> there might be a fish out there, John. All right, go for it. This is a brand new fly line I put on this morning, so it's probably going to take me just a moment to get used mm -hmm. to it. Big man. Okay, right. that's real important. That mm -hmm. allows that fly to drift mm -hmm. unimpeded by the current, totally natural. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce a little slack. What I'm watching Looks is that like strike indicator him. right him. there. Did him. you see that? This yeah, little I saw guy. It the one, the little guy, but here he comes. <clears throat> All right, there he is. See go. that strike indicator just hesitated yeah, just, just for an instant, and whenever it did, I set that hook. I saw it go down there. Now, if this were a big fish, I would have gotten him on a reel, but this is a little bitty guy. All right, Terry, way to go, buddy. Now, John, this is a barbless fly. Mm -hmm. I debarb all of my flies. Actually, it's not a bad fish. Mm -hmm. um, the reason being two, twofold. Number one, it comes out of the fish real easy. We're able to release this mm -hmm. fish without c causing any damage to the fish. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're fly fishing, occasionally a fly will get into a person. And it mm -hmm. comes out of you real easy That's also. A nice fish. He's a nice fish, Terry. All right. Way to That's go a, not bad for the second cast. No, not at all. The first one you had. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Terry Gunn, folks. This guy's something. But these I, drought, I tell you. <laughs> well, now he's deciding he wants to fight, too. <laughs> he wants to give you some. You huh? don't want to keep a fish on too long. Uh -huh. So you, you try to usually whip a fish as quickly as you can because if you keep a trout on too long, you're going to hurt him. Okay. And uh, if you can land them pretty quickly, 
This is a 4X six pound tippet, so mm -hmm. it's not real strong. Mm -hmm. You don't want the horse and Now play. he's deciding to go back out again. <laughs> All right. So there. at this point, I'm going to get him on a reel. I think I can whip him a little quicker, probably. Keeping all the slack out. Okay, fly fishing at Lee's Ferry. Terry Gunn. <laughs> you said he wasn't that big, Terry. And well, he... <laughs> I saw him roll out there. I didn't think he was this size. It's, he's kind of sluggish. He's not coming up. It's probably a fish that's just recently finished spawning. Mm -hmm. All right, here he comes. Picking up all kind of Yeah, you'll pick up that algae on your line. Algae there, yeah. There we go. Now I've got him on the reel. Check this drag. Drag set just fine. I'm going to wait out here just a little bit. Right. One thing you never want to do is you never want to bring your, your fish up on the rocks. Mm -hmm. that's, that's real hard on them. I always try to keep your fish in the water. And uh, unless absolutely necessary, I don't uh, even touch the fish. Takes all those. <clears throat> It uh, reduces uh, the amount of slime that they mm -hmm. have on them and the protection, natural protection yeah. mm -hmm. against infections. There, there he is. Hit that fish there. And That's a nice little look at fish. That. So at this point, right. I'll just reach down. Once you, if you keep their head up like this, mm -hmm. you've got them licked, OK? Mm -hmm. nice and trout. since That's a nice he's about that's probably two and a half pounds, I would imagine, something like that. It's a nice female, mm -hmm. hooked right there in that maxillary. Again, you don't want to be touching the trout if you can keep from it. Mm -hmm. And I just reach there, pull that hook out just like so, and the guy's gone. There he goes. So right, there uh, she goes. All right, there. Somebody can go. come up here and enjoy that fish next week. That's great. All there right, you go, buddy. First cast, second cast. I'm sorry, don't let me tell you first cast. Second cast, but the first one he had went on second cast. Brought them right in. Well, let's see if we can get a better fish. All right, way to go. It's not always like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're telling me it's kind of slow. If this is slow, I'd hate to be here when it's really happening. Well, I'll tell you, we've we've got a fishery we're a little concerned about these days. Um, a lot of a lot of fish are coming out of here. This Lee's Ferry at one time was probably one of the premier trout fisheries in the entire world, and uh, the last few years we've we've been. Uh, seeing a decrease in size of trout and also uh, probably numbers. And mainly it's due to so many fish being killed. Lee's mm -hmm. Ferry, a lot of people think that four fish is a very restrictive limit. Uh, not actually, it's not. Not at all. And we're encouraging people to come up here and enjoy this fishery and uh, contribute their part to making it a better fishery by catch and release fishing. Uh, come up here and catch nice fish like that. Let other people come back and enjoy them. And uh, how, that, old, how old would you say that fish was? Uh, it's there? hard to say. The studies haven't been real conclusive on age of fish. I would imagine that fish is probably two or three years old. Mm -hmm. And see, if we want to see that fish to be 10 pounds, he's probably going to have to be six, seven, eight, maybe 10 years old. And uh, if we would have harvested that fish today, uh, he would never grow anymore. But you can come here and catch that fish 25 times up until the point that maybe he's 20 pounds. So <clears throat> catch and release fishing is something that we're really encouraging here at Lee's Ferry. Ooh, nice. That's way out there. I'm go ahead and strip some more line again. Follow that down. Follow that down with the camera, that little extended drift here. Did we see that? Boom. That was great before the way it went. There it goes. But just like that. Just like that. <laughs> we got him. All right. This is a little head shaker here. <laughs> Way to go, Terry. You got to keep all the slack out. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Whenever you're using a barbless fly, especially. Uh huh. There you go. Come on in here. He's running towards me. Probably a little smaller than that last one. You never know, though. Yeah. I don't see him yet. There Not like the last one. Yeah, there he is. We're seeing quite a few fish this size. We don't see many much larger than this. Um, years ago, you know, we were seeing so many big fish. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, again, why we're just encouraging people to come up here. You don't have to kill the fish to mm -hmm. enjoy them. Mm -hmm. 
Let these guys get big, and then they're a lot of fun. Oh, heck yeah. That's a nice fish. That seems like a nice one. All right. Carry gun, folks. Okay. It's all happening with That's a pretty fish. Oh, pretty fish. Ooh, look at it. There it is. All right, coming up. Way to go. Fly fishing is really gaining in popularity. There he comes, there he comes again. I can see why. This is fun. Also, a lot of a lot of people are getting into fly fishing, and, and they don't understand uh, some of the courtesies uh, <laughs> that we have here on the river. Mm -hmm. It's real important whenever you get get into an area and you're fishing there. A lot of people will see you trying to catch fish, and they'll try to come yeah, in on mm -hmm. your area. On the area. And now, yeah. if somebody invites you to come in, or you ask them and say, "Do you mind if I come fish above or below you?" It's not any problem. Um, but just to come in and take somebody else's area that's very very impolite mm -hmm. same thing with bass fishing yeah. and fishing yeah. it's particularly wild and bass and look at that pretty fish oh, pretty nice. fish nice little girl pretty all right but again right, can you swing it around towards the camera if you can terry john it's not always like this <laughs> this is uh, we're just in the right place at the right time doing the right thing here there's no question about that right. um if you do have to touch the fish, John, let me show you a couple things okay. here. Uh, number one, you never squeeze the fish. Alrighty. Okay, if you can keep her head up like this, you never ever put your hand around the gills. Mm -hmm. That will kill a trout. I see a mm -hmm. lot of people doing that. And if you have to pick up a fish to remove a hook, the easiest way to do it is to turn the fish with your, whoops, Oop. come here, with your hand being wet, mm -hmm. and you cradle them. That's mm -hmm. very important. Never squeeze them. Mm -hmm. Turn her on her back. See mm -hmm. what she does? She mm -hmm. just settles down. Mm -hmm. And you can reach down there and just back that barbless hook out real easy. And then oh, as yeah. soon as I turn her back, she's going to want to take off, OK? All right. There you go. There you go. All right, Terry. Right, <laughs> and you said it was slow. <laughs> Fishing's been a bit slow. Uh, a bit slow. Uh, forecast two fish. That's real slow. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> Fantastic. These fish just want to be TV stars this that's morning. That's it, that's it. The one, other one got caught said, hey, go up there, get on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you rig me up with uh Let's get you all rigged up Let here. Let me try one. Okay, fly fishing at Lee's Ferry, folks. You stay put, a lot more to come. Maybe we'll get a couple more trout. We'll be right back. John, I'm going to show you real quick how to rig this. What I'm doing is I'm tying a tippet section onto a tapered leader. I'm using a surgeon's knot here. Mm -hmm. Very simple knot, just two overhands. Pull it tight, and then we're going to trim it down. We'll end up floating our uh, floating line in a leader section here mm -hmm. approximately nine feet. And try not to use my teeth anymore. Dennis don't like it. Not good for you either. So I keep these clippers right here. Um, Can you explain what a tippet is for those who aren't? Uh, tippet is your your last section of your leader. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is uh, it's measured in pounds and also diameter. This is a 4x six pound tippet, and that looks like that's going to give us close to nine feet. I always take all my spare line that I cut off and I stick it in my pocket or stick it somewhere because I found a lot of birds that have been uh, caught in, in fishing line and died because of it. And it's a real important thing for us to think about anytime we have spare line out to keep it, keep it out of the water and off the ground, put it someplace where it belongs in a trash container. I've heard a lot of uh, little baby eaglets uh, having problems with yep. that. Ducks especially, the ones that have a problem, I think. Um, Give us a good opportunity to talk about wading safety here, too. Um, in the past year and a half, we've had three fly fishermen drown here on the river. Mm -hmm. Terrible tragedies. Uh, the most important thing to remember is we have a fluctuating water flow. Always watch where the water is at all times, because it can come up on you very quickly. So whenever we got here, I got us a watermark right over here, one of these rocks. And every couple of casts, I watch that watermark. Mm -hmm. And if uh, the water starts coming up, then we'll move back. 
okay? Very, very important. Never get into a situation where you can't get out of. Always leave yourself an out, an area where you can wade back to shore. And you don't have to get real far out here in the river. You notice, notice we're, not even, right we're not even getting wet necessarily here. I'm going to take this hook and debarb it here. Okay, just like that. And uh, I don't notice many fish being lost because of a debarb hook. That's your little personal thing you like to do. It's not a, <clears throat> a state uh, regulation. It's that, not it? a state regulation yet. I'm hoping that we will see that because it's so much easier on the fish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't allow any of my people that I fish with to use treble hooks. I think treble hooks are very destructive to fish also. So if you've got a lure that's got a treble hook on it, just take your pliers and cut a couple of them off and you end up with a single. And you know, I think they hook fish better than a treble do anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, I see you <clears throat> doing real good today, I'll tell you that. You You're all no set. Problem. All right, there's where I've gone down twice in a row. Right there, she should go down any second. Come on. There it is. OK? All right. All right. Okay. Fish John? Fish. All right, <laughs> way to go. All right. <laughs> now, listen, you got to let this line slide through your hands because okay. if you just clamp on it, okay, okay, it's you don't wipe it around anything. Okay. If you clamp on it, he's going to bust you off. Okay. Grab your rod right here. Okay. Okay, and start slowly stripping in. Okay. Let that line slide. Okay. If he wants to go, let him go. Let it go. Okay, okay that's it. Let it go. That's okay. your drag system got right it. there. All right. Let it go. Yeah, that's oh, it. There he is down there. <clears throat> All right. Well, way to go, bud. All right. Is that the uh, first fish you've had on a fly rod? That's it. First Great. Fish in my life, huh? Right. So i got to watch this drag system, though. The human drag system. Yeah. Huh? So you just bring him in when he's not. Just let, it, let him keep coming in just like that. And whenever he wants to go, just let it slide. Just let, that's it. Perfect. Looks to be a pretty nice yeah. fish. Feels good. <laughs> Fly fishing, all right. He's paddling. Oh, there he goes. He wants more. You know, uh, have you done any fly fishing for bass yet? No. no hey, that's a great that. thing. That's a great thing. You know, bass will readily take a fly too. And I think it's going to be something that's going to become more popular in the future. And that's something all the fly shops can help you out with if you're interested. Oh, definitely. Because uh, most of those people have had experience fly fishing for bass. Ooh, he's making a run there. He wants to get out there. Look at him go. Well, I don't blame him now. <laughs> What's the longest it ever took you to get a fish in there? Um, I've had fish on in a fly rod in the ocean for a couple of hours. Wow. <laughs> in Alaska, if we hook a big king salmon on a fly, it'll take you an hour or so. But here, it usually doesn't take you more than 15 minutes. That's a long time, and that'd be a good sized fish. Yeah, he's coming in easy now. Yep. He's Giving up a little bit. Not yet, I'm sure he's going to give me another run here. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, now don't strip anymore and just bring the tip of your rod right towards me and I'll give you a hand with him. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's it. Just keep that rod up. At, oh, oh, right there. So close. <laughs> well, you're doing real good. I'll tell you what, you're doing a lot better than most people when they first start because, you know, it's, 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 a, brand, it's a learning process. It's teaching your muscles to do something they've never, ever done before. Fly is getting close to the bottom right now. Fish is looking at it. <laughs> there he is. Come on. Oh. Right. Hard to get all that slide. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dynamite. That's great. Nice job. Jerry. All right, buddy. You know, I get lucky and call one every once in a while. That was unreal. <laughs> you called them up. <laughs> all right, there. Way to go, buddy. Get I, that's a nice fish. Back, so I'll get out of the way here. Way to get him, buddy. John, we mentioned a little bit ago, I've had, I've been fortunate enough that I've had opportunity to fish a lot of different places. I guide in Alaska every summer. I spent two weeks in New Zealand this year. And you know, you hear a lot about these great trophy trout fisheries. Uh -huh. I haven't seen one yet that was as good as Lee's Ferry used to be. And I feel as good as Lee's Ferry can be again. Little scrappy. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Not 
Nice fish. Let me get on over here and watch you operate. Unbelievable. Look at that pretty fish. And to have big fish, we've got to have medium-sized fish. That's right. Let's let them all go. Let's let them get big. That's right. Catch and release. It's the only way to go, folks. Beautiful little girl. Yeah, here she comes. <laughs> she's fat. Now, she's she, probably been spawning all winter long. She put on a nice aerial show, I tell you. Again, let me show you. Remember how we picked this guy up? Just real mm -hmm. gently cradle him, mm -hmm. turn him upside down, and that just puts him to sleep. Right. Now, most all of our fish are stocked here whenever they're very small, fingerlings, just a couple inches long. Mm -hmm. And for all intents and purposes, these are all wild fish. You usually consider any fish that grows up in a river to be a wild fish from, you know, being such a small fish when they're stocked. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, Air, probably Lee's Ferry is one of the, the only fisheries in the state that you can catch wild fish uh, that can attain the size that they, it's possible here. And it's a lot different than a lot of the fisheries. You know, a lot of fisheries are designed put and take fisheries. In other words, they, they put the fish in uh, for people to catch during the, during the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the uh, winter time, the fish are going to die unless they're taken out of there. Mm -hmm. But see, these guys here have a 365 day a year growing season. Behind, yeah. Beautiful fish. What's that, the uh, temperature to water? Terry has uh, a lot to do with that? Consistent water temperature, the consistent food source, everything, yes. Nice little fish. But they're all the same size yeah. here. Nice bow. <clears throat> what I always suggest to people, bring a nice, bring a camera whenever you're fishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've showed you how you can pick up a fish without injuring it. Mm -hmm. Keep it real close to the water. And if you're going to get a good picture of it, just bend down like this and get your buddy over there and uh, just lift him right out of the water just like that. Shout out to the camera over there if you could. <laughs> 